Well, hey guys, how you doing? Um, just about to go to bed, but I got a message from Jesus and um, I, was, I had to get some confidence on this one because it's different and it's, um, it's kind of weird. I really feel like the end times are going to be very supernatural and we're not going to understand much of what's going on. But the crazy thing is, is I feel like God... Um, put me together with Jesus Saves on YouTube because I sent her the message, you know, to see if she understood it. And she said that the Lord has been showing her this since high school. So I feel like, you know, he put me um, in contact with her for a reason because he knew that all of this would go way over my head. Um, like some of these words, I don't even, I don't even know what they are. I had to Google and look up these definitions. Um, so with that said, I'm going to claim that Jesus Christ came to earth as a man in the flesh and died on the cross and rose three days later because the Lord taught me that. And ignore the telegram and the Instagram people. And if you do have a question, um, you know, always take it to Jesus. Ask God for discernment. Um, you can reach out to Jesus Saves on YouTube. Um, I'm sure she'll probably do a video on this explaining it, but, um, that girl, she's so smart. God has given her so much knowledge. So anyway, it's April 2nd, 2023. First again, made Colossians 2, 5. For though I'm far away from you, my heart is with you and I rejoice that you are living as you should and that your faith in Christ is strong. First John 1, 5. This is the message we heard from Jesus and now declared to you, God is light and there is no darkness in him at all. Proverbs 21, 3. To do righteousness and justice is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Ephesians 3, 4. By which when you read, you may understand my knowledge and the mystery of Christ. Psalm 16, 4. Troubles multiply for those who chase after other gods. I will not take part in their sacrifices of blood or even speak the names of their gods. Proverbs 111. They may say, come and join us. Let's hide and kill someone just for fun. Let's ambush the innocent. 1 Thessalonians 2.5. Never once did we try to win you with flattery, as you well know, and God is our witness that we were not pretending to be your friends just to get your money. Genesis 14, 3. The second group of kings joined forces in Siddim Valley. That is the Valley of the Dead Sea. Okay, guys, and here's the message. My child, Turkey, Iran, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, New Orleans. What do they all have in common? Oh, hey, babe. I'm just doing a message. I'll be right there. Why can't you see this? Why do they pose this masquerade of equality? What is truly in their hearts? Are they ambiguous? I had to look that word up. Do they really care about equal rights? Or is it a unity of religion? Don't be naive, child. Don't be deceived by them. Sodom and Gomorrah is what they have in common. Perishing is what they have in common. Libertarian is their prime way of living. I had to look that one up too. But are they really fighting for equality? Or are they dumbfounded of Congress? I had to look that one up too. The wicked lives in those places. The demolishers crave souls in those places. The prince of Egypt, the ruler of Turkey, the president of Iran, and the libertarian government, they falsify the true constitution. They are a dictatorship. They are rebels and they are behind Christian persecutions. If you can't see the truth behind the enemy's plans, you are stuck in this world and you are still sleeping. Wake up, O oh sleeper, because my judgment is here and my wrath will pour down. Bin Laden, he's the missing piece of all of this. The missing piece you will soon see. You are going to see how he ties in. The dictatorship, the ruler, the deceiver are all going to come together and formulate their plan. Iraq, not all meets the eye. The descendants of Iraq are a totalitarian 
piece of to totalitarian piece of democracy democracy sorry the witches they know the truth they helped this plan come together through witchcraft and sorcery practicing the abomination of destroying their souls the seance the wake of the dead the demonic trojan horse defeat totalitarianism i know i said that wrong because I don't remember what he, how he said it, but this will be foreign to many of you, but who has ears to hear, let them hear. The spirit is the key to all understanding. The Holy Spirit will reveal truth. I have left many mysteries unspoken, but hidden in my word. If you ask the Holy Spirit for understanding, he will show you the truth. Children, why are you denying my existence? The mysteries of the Bible and my word is being uncovered. Seek my kingdom and believe in me with your whole heart. Confess I am Lord. I will save you. I wish for no one to perish. Do you love me? Do you love your neighbor? The two greatest commandments I have given you is love thy Lord God and love thy neighbor. Will you follow my commandments? Discover truth of Unitarianism. I had to look that one up too. I love you, my children. My thoughts are greater than your ways. Trust in me. I will satisfy your heart's desire. Every mechanism will try and supersede my true divinity. Don't fall for their lies and trickery and deceit. Ironclad and machines will be the ways of the future. I think he said clad. I don't think he said clay, but um, I thought I heard clad. But anyway, it's all set in motion now. Nothing of what you see is the true reality. It's all covered up with lies and manipulations. If they are ahead, truly ahead, considered an elite, question their existence, question their mortality. It's all been covered up with fictitious lies. The truth will be revealed and the magic and miracles on display is from another kingdom, a dark side kingdom with no monetary influence, strictly governed by rules under a supernatural influence. Whoa, all of that totally went over my head. But um, like I said, you know, we prophesy in part. And until he reveals things, you know, I, I'm only obedient. Speak what I what I hear. Um, to, total Totalitarianism. Anyway, I'm terrible at this stuff. But um, he chose me for a reason, so I'm just going to go with it. Um, also, you know, in another previous message, he said something about bin Laden was a cover up. So I don't know what that means. I have no idea. This is, this is really going over my head, but these are the scriptures afterwards. Revelation eleven six. these have power to shut heaven so that no rain falls in the days of their prophecy. And they have power over waters to turn them to blood and to strike the earth with all plagues as often as they desire. Revelation 6, 9, when he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. 1 Corinthians 6, 3, do you not know that we should judge angels how much more things that pertain to this life? Revelation 14, 8, another angel followed saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she has made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Genesis 36, 5, and Ahalabima bore Jeosh, Jalem, and Korah, these were the sons of Esau, Esau, who were born to him in the land of Canaan. Exodus 19.3 And Moses went up to God, and the Lord called to him from the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel. Ezekiel 9.4 And the Lord said to him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and put a mark on the foreheads of the men who sigh and cry over all the abominations that are done with it within it. Daniel 9, 7. O Lord, righteousness belongs to you, but to us shame of face as it is the day to the men of Judah, to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and all Israel, those near and those far off in all the countries to which you have driven them because of the unfaithfulness which they have committed against you. Daniel eleven three. Then a mighty king shall arise who shall rule with great dominion and do according to his will. So lots of things are going to happen, guys. So if you don't know Jesus, ask him to come into your life. Repent from your sins, which means, you know, change your mind and come to him. Believe in him with all your heart. And he will save you guys. He loves you. He wishes for no one to perish. And there's a lot of deception out there. So always take everything to Jesus. Have a blessed night.